Good evening, uh, YouTubers, and it is the 30th of September, 2017, and it is evening. Alright, so this is part two of um, whatever part one was called. <laughs> right, now the next thing I want to mention is what I've mainly been doing uh, is stuff on the soul level. So... Um, it's basically understanding that part of us and trying to communicate some of it. Now, when I was meditating, um, I would notice that sometimes, sometimes I would connect with God and sometimes I just couldn't. And so I was trying things out. And what I think I found out there is something of the soul some things the soul has a tendency to do which will stop it talking to God and inherent things within the soul that are there that you can have that will enable you to talk to God or to feel your soul fully because when you feel your soul it is connected to God so you kind of you know, God is just there. And these things came to me in a type of, like a cross, like a kind of crucifix in a way. But it, it was that four things, so they're, they're, they're sort of stable. So, I see them, when I do this in the meditation, I see these things here. So, at the top of the bad things, we have hopelessness. So if you've got any hopelessness in your soul, it's, it's going to stop you from feeling anything because, um, you know, it's not the truth. Because the truth is that with God, there's, anything can happen at any time. There is no need for hopelessness. And then down here, we have uh, dependence. So, this is dependence on anything that isn't God, basically. Uh, because we are dependent on God, ultimately. Yes, you can get by without God, but, you know, you ain't going to go far when the whole rest of humanity... Are, screaming off a thousand times the speed that you're progressing, you'll soon want to, kind of, won't want to be left back. So, that is all we need to be dependent on. And I, you know, this is a big one for me, is I'm always doing it because I smoke, so, you know, I quite often I've got this urge to depend on a fag, where now I just have to remember that. It's not true. Anyway... And then over, you know, which side, which I, I, you know, doesn't really sort of matter that much. Um, <clears throat> hopelessness, dependence. So then the one I always come up with next is anticipation. Because, so basically you'll want to be there meditating. And quite often, you know, you, you, you've done the preparation, it's the, you've got the time. You're not going to get interrupted. There's nothing stopping you. <laughs> and it, and that creates anticipation in the sense that you're expecting something to happen. And nothing will happen in that state. So these are things you're freeing yourself. And the last one here is desperation. When you, you, try, to, you try to force something. So, in a way... It kind of it kind of makes a cross, and it's probably just made it easy to remember. But that's the way it came in. So then, free yourself of those things, and have what's inherent in the soul. And the top one I put down as faith. The bottom one, honesty. So yeah, being honest with yourself and everything else. And then we've got joy and enthusiasm. And 
in a sense, you think that enthusiasm is similar to anticipation in a way that you're you're looking forward, but you're not in a way. Anyway. So with these two here, then then there just comes another one. There, there comes another one, and it's it's all about it's all about love. And you know this really works in meditation at the. I don't know, I don't know, I don't really do these in a cross, I just, there's just four, so we'll put God at the top, so love God, mother and father, at the bottom put yourself, that includes your soulmate, and then we've got everyone, I'll just write all, and then we've got life, existence, the fact that there is something, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's amazing and illogical. <coughs> Yet, here we are. Okay, so that was that. Um, okay, that was the only thing <laughs> that I thought of. And I thought about writing the list first and then doing the video, but I kind of didn't want to do that. So again, so I'm I'm kind of trying to bring out the things which have come to me from, if you like, nowhere. They've they've just happened during meditation, just when, and all I do to meditate, apart from these things which sometimes help if I've got a, you know, like the the hopelessness one, is like a knot in your stomach. You're you're trying to meditate, you're trying to sit there in all peace and everything, but you've got this knot in your stomach. And you say the word hopelessness, and that creates a feeling, and it kind of makes you go, yeah, you know, I am holding on to some hopelessness here, and and just by acknowledging it, and then you can acknowledge you know that, again, you know, with God nothing is... There is should there's no need for hopelessness. You can have faith instead, and um, then you sort of feel better. And you know it might it might have just been from being around another person who had hopelessness within them. You know these beliefs and everything's do infect with each other. Okay, all right. Um, I'm just going to slip a little tangent in here. Um, I just watched a video by Nikki, who does the Divine Truth Experiment thing. And um, it do his video does seem like it's been made as a response to my latest video. A uh, bit weird. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to put this in too. Um, my life at the moment... Um, it's fine, I'm all good. But my business is, it's like, dried up. Computers are just too reliable. Um, so, I'm pretty much decided I'm going to go and get a job. I mean, I have got a computer job tomorrow, actually. So unless I get a phone call in the morning, well, not tomorrow, Monday. <laughs> unless I get a load of phone calls, I will be going for a job and I'm hoping I can be a dustman and uh, you know I'm, I'm fine with that and um, I guess recently I have been thinking you know am I really the Christ whatever <laughs> have I just like gone off on one and maybe I have maybe I have but I haven't had anything to rule it out yet from God or anything. And I do feel like I have accomplished something in the last three years. Because I was thinking, you know, a lot of what I was doing in meditation for a while, for about a year, was feeling pain. Feeling pain on the soles of my feet. 
doing that for about a year. Then, like my ankle suddenly breaks. <laughs> no weird reason. And I had this really bad, hard period back in March, April, June, July. <laughs> well, July wasn't too bad. Things are getting good. And of course, there's the moon moods things. I mean, the two year, two moons, two days. That. That's that's massive. That really is. It's uh, it can make a big difference. Things it could smooth things out a lot. It could chill. You know, in September time is probably a bad time for relationships because the bloke is up and the woman's down, or the woman's up and the bloke is down on the yearly one. So although it's gradual, you don't really notice it. It's happening. And. Uh, Tensions arise, but if we all knew the, the swings and ups and downs of things, it would it would make it a lot easier. Um, okay, one of the other things I did was take a look at this. So. Here's a, here's a bloke sitting there meditating, right? And um, oh woman, and you see I've written father there and mother there. Now we're feeling mother and father God differently. They're like they are like one, but because we're half, we can I can only speak for male. I can't be a female. So I feel mother and father God separately. And the father from the top and the mother from beneath. It's, it's, this is all stuff that I've come from feeling. And AJ Miller, he talked about the soul having different organs. Now, you know, I'd never thought of that when I heard him say that. Now I do, I did find this intellect here humility, throat, and there your heart in the core. And emotions and affection did seem to make sense. And what I did first is as I I got to my heart from the top through the intellect and humility and then I felt my heart. And that sincere sensitive surrender that's that's kind of processing stuff. And it was then, it was, you know, I thought I was pretty much finished, but it was then I kind of also had to open up through the, the other way, affection, emotion, to the heart there. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to write on this list here. <coughs> Father from above. Again, it fits in with the the sun and the earth analogy with male and female. Mother from beneath. And actually, I mean, mother is more than from beneath. Mother is, and this this is the sort of the latest thing, which I mentioned in part one of the video. Uh, yeah, no, I'm Roman numerals. Um, the, so I'm a male, okay? I like the sun in the solar system, and my soulmate is like the planets. But if we, if we, if we look at, say, the soul is the black hole in the universe. So me and my soulmate, we are a universe. We're in a, we're in a new universe. There's hardly anything in our universe yet. But for me as the male, for me to see my universe, I have to kind of look in my soulmate. And by me looking in my soulmate, and my sun is shining on my soulmate. I become the light 
of my soulmate. Now I think, so you can, you can do that with someone who isn't your soulmate. But there, it will, there will be this something which just isn't right about it. It just doesn't quite fit. So it can't last. So, so <laughs> I'm gonna put this. For a male soul, to see his universe must be through his soulmate. So you can you can shine your light on another, but you won't be looking at your universe. You'll be looking at somebody else's universe. And they won't be getting the light from their <laughs> sun, their light emitter. They'll be getting it from somebody else's, so it won't be won't be the right. Right. Well, because there's been a lot, I know, I know there has. I might have to stop the video or just have a pause. Um, I mean, I had to be careful because in the beginning I was just taking everything AJ Miller said as, you know, for a little bit, I was just like... You know, he is, he's amazing and everything he's saying is amazing. So it's, it's laziness to just take somebody else's uh, viewpoint and, and call it truth. And it's what the people do who read the Bible. Or they sort of, I think, they sort of want to believe so that they'll so they'll skip over things that don't make sense. Anyway, enough of that. Um, about the heart. I mean, the heart. The heart's everything, and the heart is so strong. It's the power, but you have to be real sensitive to unlock it because you kind of locked it up as a kid and things didn't make sense so things got locked up but just by you can you know you can in meditation go back in your memories and remember things right I don't know what I'm going to do with this list so that's it for now. Thanks. Bye.